am your host, Eric Schomer. I've got it with me, this woman here. Her name is Jennifer Schomer, a.k.a. also known as the wifey. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm not. wifey. Mom. The old lady. Is that what they used to say <laughs> back in the day? My old lady. I never understood why they called them their old lady and it was their wife. That sounds to me uh, like it would know. be the mother. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Somebody question it. I never lived back then. Dude, you got to check this out. So I, I tried to film uh, a review for, for uh, Tahoe Vodka and it didn't are work. Are you talking to me? Uh, well, you're right here. <laughs> so you might be talking to them. I'm talking to everybody. I know the story. So it didn't work very well. And here's the problem. The GoPro has the horrid audio. So you can make it a little bit horrid. better. Yeah, you can make it a little bit better by opening the hole. So I had to buy a skeleton case I'm so for not it. Good at this. And then and then I needed this anyway, so I can grip it to stuff and like in trees when I do my reviews in the summertime in the trees. And then I needed better audio, so I built I get this audio adapter for the Hero 3, which goes off of here, and then, then I bought a condenser mic. <laughs> so after it's all said and done, you're like a thank you. It's like a five Ah It's like ah this is cool. It's like a five hundred dollar blogging contraption here. And which case you should just buy yourself an HDR camera. I don't know. You can you, you can't get but a good HDR. But you can't go underwater with that. For five hundred bucks? A good HDR camera with like with like a, a microphone and everything? Not yes. like one of these that has the boom. Like this microphone is almost the same price as half of this. I know it sounds weird, but it's like two hundred dollar mic. It just seems like you can get out of control really fast. But it, it's more versatile. An ounce and a half of blue chair rum. This recipe is called the Elder Coconut. Submitted by Eric. Eric just... Three, uh, four ounces of St. Germain. We're going to do an ounce and a half of blue chair bay coconut rum, which is what it calls for. If you don't have blue chair bay, oh, use coconut rum. do the three and a quarter ounce. Of what? Oh, I guess I got St. Germain. St. Germain, elderflower. And lime juice. You can do the lime juice. Nope. You said you wanted to squeeze it. Oh. But I can't oh. measure three quarters. Three quarters is almost, uh, you only have a quarter left of this ounce. See, look, right there. Okay. Look. Look. You're gonna splash. splash that? Do I have a clean one here? I put one over there with this dirty. You just dripped it on your face, that's not clean. No. Oh, wow. That's really bright. Oh, I can squeeze this? Oh, that's pink pigeon. <laughs> I can taste it. Yeah, you can squeeze it. Look, this not is that how much. Way, though, huh? <laughs> no, that contrary to popular belief, it's not that way. You know, you're gonna, you shouldn't cover the the drink. See how high it is? That's what you're gonna do. Oh shush. It's probably just one squirt of that, like one whole half. <laughs> this is a true test. Test. If I can do it. Anybody can do it. <laughs> Why? Why is that? He's what are you laughing about over there? It's, you know, th this is not really. You're almost there. Keep squeezing. Shut up. <laughs> Lift it up a little bit. Give us some air. Now squeeze again. Oh, it grows. Yeah. All right. Now, get to get it over the. Oh, I did an arm workout yesterday. This hurts. Okay, you're good. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> marketing wise, My arms. if you've recently done an arm <laughs> workout, and you want to know, or you're just really weak, and you want to know... Ah, you want lime juice in your eye? Uh, hypothetically speaking, the this new firm grip, or whatever you call it, it's the, the Chef and Squeeze. We have them on awesome mm, drinks. They're awesome. not cheap. Uh, it's like almost 30 bucks, I think. But I want to say is, 25, but I could be wrong. You're the price person. You're the one nah, you do the prices. No, I, I mark them, but you have to actually enter them. Uh, a dash of aromatics, too, because one dash is never enough. Uh, oh, you need ice. These are supposed to be easier to squeeze with 20% more juice My out arms. of them. But you pay for the, the awesomeness. Yeah. But I'm looking for squeezers that have quality over time. And it's top rack dishwashable safe. The other ones, they start to rust. My key, The key component for me here is these two bolts. And I've run this with the dishwasher about four times, and there's no no staining on it, which is good because that's that's usually the breaking point. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Doug. Now. Come on. Okay, now. <laughs> you 
You could use the aromatics of your choice. If you have Angostura at home, you can use can you give me your bed, so? more than that. I'm dead. What? I just want you to give me more than that. What's this? That's it. I didn't even the give dead. you the first one. You stole it. These are scrappies! It's retarded. <laughs> what? You're retarded. Um, face is retarded. Here. No, do not do that to me. <laughs> this is a $17 bottle. All bottom. over your glasses. I thought you were trying to break them. Why do you want to try scrappies? I don't want to try bitters. Here. To get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Your audience just all left. Yes, that's it's your do. childish. Yeah, that's exactly how that went down. Two ounces of club soda. We're using Perry. Right there. Because it, full disclosure, they gave it to us. Right. Um, I would go with your favorite aromatics or the ones you have on you. Or you can always get these in Austin. Awesome on you? Well, yeah, in your pocket. I'm drinking first I this always, time. I always keep you my always aromatics. Carry aromatics on you. Where's this? And if you do this, it'll help you get rid of. You probably want to put on a single oh. white. Oh! Wow. I'm gonna guess it's sour. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you holding it in your mouth? Drink it, drink it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I was so I I don't know, you've been married for like twelve years. How long have you been married? I don't know, long time. I've never seen that. I had no idea what you're doing. <laughs> like you at jumping and like she's either excited to like tell me how awful it is or how sour it is or what. No, it's really good. Because you went, oh and I knew normally because that it's reaction good. is sour, like ah like ah it's violating my mouth. But you are not like that. I forgot it has the coconut as its base, so that does? Yeah. That's coconut rum. <laughs> yes, yes, it's coconut rum. Oh, yeah, I get the suntan lotion. See? Oh, yeah. Uh, coconut rum for those at home. That was pretty might crazy. Mm. So, this is like a margarita with coconut rum in it. No. In St. Germain. <laughs> in Club Nothing Soda. like a margarita. Okay, it's, it's like um, it's like a Kuiperania. Oh, I like that. Without mint. No. <laughs> and without... Without yeah, it's Kishasa. not like a Kuiperania at all. Kuiperanias are kind of... It's got club soda and lime juice. It's like a Moscow Mule. Just a... No. I heard it. It's an Elder Coconut. I it's named really it. really good. I called it the Elder Coconut. Eric, so... So, last night I blew Eric's mind a little bit. Because he... He I'm bought something. give away the secret. I got The got magic it. behind the... That's the thing. you got to be a little bit of Wizard of Oz in my position. But... Uh, for those who haven't seen, it's a guy and he, he pretends he's really cool Seriously? and powerful. Uh, <laughs> it's it, some people may have missed it. Everybody dies in the end. Um, the he so he sends me a message, a chat message on Austin Drinks after he had just bought something and say, "Oh, thanks for the show, blah blah blah." So I'm like, "Oh, he's a fan." I looked, I could see who's online and where they're coming from from the chat box. I'm like, "Oh, well, let's look at who ordered." And I saw who it was. I found out he had submitted a recipe. So I'm like, oh, "I'm gonna do your blue cherry recipe." I just hadn't had blue cherry rum. And he was like, dude, you know who I am and what the recipe was. So it was, it was kind of, I, I like the shock and awe approach sometimes. And so I thought, you know what? He submitted the recipe before I had this. I got this, did the review. We've been busy doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Kurt's been doing some recipe book stuff. And so now it's time to take what I actually bought two months ago and apply it into a recipe specifically, which called for it. Did you buy it or did you get it for a review? That? I bought it. Oh. Oh, that's Kenny Chesney. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's even. You know what? I like this drink. So it gets more sour though. Yeah, a little bit. The thing is, the club soda is nice and sparkly and it really yes. dances. Uh, the simple syrup probably just adds a little bit. You could have done a, a sour mix for this, I think, like it's a, a what sweet you did. sour mix. You, you did it on the fly as opposed to yeah. there's no lemon where I put lemon in my sour mix. But mm -hmm. um, I see your point there. These, you should try these. This is so good. Because you're going to find out that some of that flavor that's imparted mm. is from the aromatics. Yeah, I can believe that. I almost dumped it on myself. Hell no. Um, In my belly? The, I liked it. 
This, the elderflower, great showing, because the elderflower is really the second And half. I don't really care for elderflower, but really? I, I like it in this drink. Yeah. I know, Doug really likes it, and you like it. What's wrong with it? You don't like the floral it's just, flavor? Yeah! Chug, 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 chug! It's sweet. It's like it's like a simple syrup itself. Mm. It's okay. It's not cheap I mean, either. It has very unique flavors that by itself is not a sipper. No. Um, it's sweet. It has Unless a little bit dug. of tartness. <laughs> it plays really nice with coconut rum. Almost like a like a very oh, it's such a nice flowery green flavor. It's green. Um, or it's like a the perfect type of herbal because it's sweet mm. flower. I like flowery stuff. I like chamomile and things that have flour in them. Teas. I think it plays nice with the yeah. coconut rum. Both are Those sweet flavors, but this drink is not. Okay. The drink is not sweet. Um, it is mildly sour. It has a lot of sweet, but it's got a lot of different flavors in here. It's gone. <laughs> The, yeah, I, it's not sweet, but the first it's not before super the elderflower sour. kicks in, that is where Scrappy's plays. Um, this one is because each aromatic has a different type of flavor imparted on it. And they're not going to tell me what this herbs and spices. That's not helpful. Uh, a lot of people don't give you the flavors that come out of it, and some of them are very. Um, this tastes kind of like Christmas. So what is that? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Nutmeg, clove. But not as much clove as a Hella Bitters has, um, and not as much cinnamon. There is cinnamon in here, but not as much cinnamon as Fee Brothers has. This is a, I would say, and not as much bitter as Angostura has. So it's like a, it's a lighter approach that kind of brings all of those names I just mentioned into one single product. Very reminiscent of Adam's Christmas Bitters, I think, but not as Christmassy. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really good, and it played really well in there, I think. Yeah, it did. Uh, that was if, an awesome drink. If you don't have them, it's gone. <laughs> I know. That's how well, you know it's an awesome drink. It's going to have to go on my top cocktails list, and maybe... Yeah, I would order, like, ten of those. <laughs> maybe it has to go into our, our cocktail book. And I wouldn't walk home, and I'd probably sleep wherever I was, but I'd order ten of them. <laughs> this is a gutter drink, because you will find yourself in the gutter by the end of the night. No, there. it's not that strong. Well, it has an ounce and a half. If you have ten of them, ounces. there's only two things. You're in the hospital <laughs> ounces of for alcohol poisoning or for diabetes. Probably diabetes. Or for... No, because it's not that sweet. But you're not going to get scurvy. That's right. Really? Really? My bad. We'll get that later. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Get over there. It's nothing. Yeah! Isn't that a song? Yes, yeah, the song is Sail! 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 It was made for me. I should put that on there. You should. So it just plays that over and over. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Go get yourself some Scrappy's Bitters. And make yourself this drink. It's awesome. Right now. You can use any coconut rum. I'm I, sure that you're, it'll vary the taste a bit. For this, if I recall, this, this was a strong it's coconut not, rum. It's not... Mm, it's no, not coconutty. It's, it's not coconutty. Mm, it's got a little coconut. I can Sunscreen. see it floating in there. Whoa. What? It's got coconut in it. Um, I would go with Crucian over Malibu for to dull down the sweetness and bring up the coconut. Mm, that's a good coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were here when we reviewed this. I know. It's kind of a mixture between um, Malibu coconut. and Crucian, actually. Yeah. So, I, But I would still play on the side of Crucian before Malibu, if you can. If you can. Because the sweetness of Malibu is a I love test. Crucian. Malibu Black, though, might work really well in here uh, because it just doesn't have, it has sweet, but it doesn't have the the same level of sweet in your face that regular Malibu has. But if you are a diehard really Malibu good. fan, then there's, your. if you like Malibu, then this is not going to make it worse. It's not like uh, you added absinthe or Sambuca to it. That's good. What are you, Doug now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Want to take exactly sips of the I rest thought. of the stuff we got? Um, I did. I already did elder, elderflower. Whiskey rocks glasses. We have now I just thing. have to put both in my mouth and just do the bitters, and I got the drink right so there. So after you're done watching this, pause it. Go to Austin Drinks. Get your whiskey rocks glasses, your Scrappy's aromatics. When your they perfect come in, ice cubes. Right. Your, oh, yeah, your perfect ice cubes. And then when the Tavolo. When they come in, they're like one of the first items. When they come in, 
Then you unpause this, so it's gonna take a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> We've just paused on your computer the whole entire time. Bookmark this episode, replay it again later when you have the glass and the aromatics. Boom! And you can just sit down and experience it play by play as if you just DVR the Super Bowl. It's really good. I like this drink. Super Bowl's a football game for those. Good in your call, room. Eric. Thank I don't know you. if you created it, but. I think so. Call. It didn't have a name. I had to come up with it. Oh, so probably then. Yeah. Or he just said, hey, I found this drink and I don't know the name. Could be. Don't think so. But a Good creation, Eric. I like it. Awesome drink stock. Everydaydrinkers.com. Awesome drink stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a drink.